Hello. I almost didn't vlog, but I'm like, I better vlog. It is Wednesday, the 16th, right, kitty cat? I have been um, dealing with hives since Friday. Not a huge amount, and not all the time. It's just stress-related. I know that's what it is. Like right now, I just have little ones here and there, but I want to itch them so bad. I just took some Benadryl, actually. Um, uh, last, last night was, it was the worst because this whole arm was just covered. It was red and I was itching it and it was swollen and, um, so then I laid down and then I had heartburn. I rarely ever get heartburn, ever. And my hair, I just woke up from a nap a little bit ago. I did get some good sleep though. Yay. Um, but. I don't get heartburn off often. I think I've only counted less than a handful of times I've ever had it. <clears throat> so last night, oh, it's just like, oh. And um, kitty, come here. Come here. Come see me. Don't scratch on the door or I will have to kill you. Um, so I sat up at the edge of my bed and sat there for a minute. And you, you know how you feel like you gotta burp, but you can't burp. You just want that pressure out. So I go to my door and I open it and I'm like, it was like 11, probably 11 o'clock last night. I don't know, I put a Facebook uh, thing up last night, so whatever time that was. Um, maybe it was earlier than that. And so, I can, I know, I can look at my, uh, my thingy. So I took my, like 11.30. Um... I only know because I took my blood pressure at the same time. So, I opened my door and I'm like, Dad? Because I didn't want to wake him up if he was sleeping, so I said it real lightly. He was in his chair and goes, what? And I'm like, do you have any rollades? He goes, yeah. I don't know where he keeps them. So we went and got him brought up to me, and he came around the corner. I'm like this. He goes, what's wrong? I'm like, I have a heartburn. He's like, are you sure it's heartburn? I'm like, I'm not having a heart attack. I have heartburn. I know what heartburn feels like. Although the first time I ever had heartburn, I thought I was having a heart attack. It hurts, man. So bad. So finally, I took a couple Rolaids, drank a little bit of water. I was able to burp a couple times, which released, oh, so much pressure. So, I uh, took a cold cloth and put it on my arm to kind of calm down the red itchiness and Finally, maybe about a half an hour later, I laid down, and um, so thanks all you guys who said something to me on Facebook, and um, just one of those miserable nights, like, come on. And then uh, I woke up, you know, I had no heartburn, and I'm like, oh, the hives are gone, but my stress levels have been apparently higher than I think they are because my body is telling me that they are so I haven't had problems with hives in a year and a half two years so it's aggravating to me um, but hopefully it won't last very long I just remember when I uh, had them for my allergic reaction to strawberries because dad's like, are you sure you're not allergic to something? I said, I don't think so. Because when I was had the allergic reaction with hives, they were all over my body. Or like huge on my stomach. And they were everywhere. But when I'm stressed out, it seems to just be my, like right in here. And then my outer thigh, my knees. But nowhere else. <sighs> I want to thank Ruth. Ruth sent me a, a nice little card. I don't know if she watches. I'll have to thank her on Facebook. She was thinking of me and sent me a card. Thank you, Ruthie. I can't wait to see people this summer. Kitty, what do you want? I don't have any treats to give you. What else has been happening? Uh, this last weekend, Dad did go see the medicine man. Got to talk to him for a little while at Mike's. <clears throat> and, uh... He tried so. He came home. He goes, I ate some at Mike's. It was like traditional Native American food, like milkweed soup. And um, what else did he say? There was milkweed soup. 
some kind of a rice dish with nuts in it and something else. He told Mike, he goes, you're not going to put Campbell's soup out of business. He said it was, it was, <laughs> um, I can't even imagine what milkweed soup would taste like. I don't really want to try it either. I made soup yesterday. I made potato soup. We just had some leftovers for dinner and we still have some left. Because no matter how hard you try to make a little pot of soup, it's never a little pot of soup. And then the day before, we went shopping. We went um, to Meyer, And I went produce crazy. I bought two fresh pineapples. I bought grapes. I bought bananas. Uh, radishes, lettuce, romaine lettuce, uh, celery, uh, what else? Avocados. I bought so much produce. That's why lunch today I had a salad. See, I'm itching my, I'm itching my, you can't see it. Like there's a hive. Yeah. Makes me just want to itch, itch, itch. Now if I lay down and put my hands under the covers and leave them on either side of myself, I'll just I'll try to calm down and not think about things and just try not to itch. Hi, kitty. What are you doing down here, huh? Uh, today? My insurance people kind of had me a little stressed out. You know how you get that call? And they've been doing it one way, and then all of a sudden they call and say, well, we need to do this, but we need it. Sorry it's such a last minute, but we need it, like, now. Okay. So I did what I could and emailed him. Never got an email back. Hopefully it'll work for him. I'll call him tomorrow and say, did you get my email? Will that work for you? Ron's coming over tomorrow gotta go over our stuff because I know he's put toilets out that I don't know about. We still do not know about the PGA. Uh, we got an email yesterday saying that we would get an email today. Haven't heard. So I don't know what's going on with that. So yeah. Friday's the dock. Door. Spotlight in the hoo-ha. Kitty, do you want a spotlight in your hoo-ha? You don't have any parts inside, do you? No. She had already had her girly parts taken out when I got her. She had still had the shaved belly. It was just growing back. Ain't that right? Many years ago. Yeah. Next week will be six years mom's been gone. It's crazy. Crazy. Getting geared up for Easter. Anybody do anything special for Easter? We will be going out to my aunt uncles like we always do for it's Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Always the same place. Uh, I'm going to be making macaroni and cheese this year. And I'm not going to cheat and buy Gordon's like I did last year. I'm going to make it. I have everything I need. I'm going to put it together on Saturday and stick it in the fridge and put it in the oven on Sunday morning and cook it up because we go out there about noon and we eat about one and then we visit the afternoon and then usually later on people snack some more I think my aunt and uncle will be there and I haven't seen them in a while um, my aunt Donna the one you guys always send me box tops for uh, they live a couple hours away and don't get to come uh, they're busy people. She's a school teacher. She's always busy. Lately she's been doing running though. She's been she just ran a half marathon last week, this past weekend, I think. So she's really gotten into running the last year or so. Alright. Kitty, do you want to add anything? She's like, give me treats. Alright. Tomorrow I'm probably gonna have to plug in my iPhone, dump all this stuff off of it. Mainly just uh, the videos because that's what makes takes up most space. Okay, I'm going on 10 minutes. I'll see ya. Bye.